If you ever wonder what is the difference between Arduino and Raspberry Pi, then in this video lesson we will compare Arduino with Raspberry Pi, the two most popular microcontroller board among all the maker, creator or electronics engineers amongst the community. So you see in the left side of the, the picture here in the video, this is an Arduino Uno. So Arduino comes with a microcontroller. So the chip sitting on the Arduino, this one is a microcontroller, which is an 8-bit AVR microcontroller chip. Wherein on the right side, we have the Raspberry Pi, which is a microprocessor device. So Raspberry Pi comes with a 64-bit CPU core from the ARM. So it's more powerful because it's a 64-bit CPU and Arduino is a microcontroller which is an 8-bit microcontroller chip. So it's a little less powerful as compared to Raspberry Pi. Since Arduino is a microcontroller device, it doesn't need any operating system. So uh, you can write a C program and put straight into the chip and then this chip starts controlling LED switches, motor or something like that. On the other hand, the Raspberry Pi uh, it's a microprocessor device, so it needs an operating system. And that's why Raspberry Pi Foundation has developed its own operating system, Raspbian OS, which is something more similar like a Debian or Linux, Debian Linux distribution. So it's more like working with the Linux. Uh, working with Raspberry Pi feels more like a working with any Linux computer. So that means the Arduino doesn't need an operating system and Raspberry Pi does need an operating system. Now, writing a program for the microcontroller sitting on the Arduino board is much more easier because you use something called Arduino IDE, which is an integrated development tool, uh, a software, a piece of software. So you write a C program and then upload the code straight into the chip and the code will sit into the flash memory of this microcontroller chip. So it will be very easy to program. Wherein in the Raspberry Pi, because it has the operating system, uh, you have to know the basic fundamentals of OS and Linux and then you can able to program. So that means for learning and programming the Raspberry Pi you need to have a little bit of a patience and you have to know uh, operating system fundamentals and that's why it takes a little more time to get comfortable with the Raspberry Pi as compared to Arduino. Now um, the good thing is the Arduino can be programmed through a simple Arduino C program, so it's much more easier. So it's more look like a normal C programming, wherein Raspberry Pi is much more versatile because it can, you can use any programming language like a C, Python, Java, Node.js or any programming language that you're comfortable because it's like any other computer, right? You can run the script and run straight away into the chip and it will you know, work just absolutely fine. So you can choose any language that you're comfortable with in case of Raspberry Pi. In Arduino, you have to stick with uh, C program or maybe Arduino C program, or you can even use assembly, which is, um, you know, handful of, or maybe I can say like embedded engineers are more comfortable with this, but when it comes to the high level programming language users, like a typical software or IT people, they have to get a little bit comfortable with the low level and the C programming. Now Arduino has a limited peripheral. So when it comes to uh, talking about the different uh, devices that you interface to Arduino board or the microcontroller chip, you can have the UART, I2C, SPI. So these are like essential uh, peripheral um, hardware interfaces which will allow this microcontroller to talk to external world like digital devices and analog and digital sensors or something like that. Wherein, when it compares to Raspberry Pi, in the Raspberry Pi, you have a lot many uh, peripheral supports. So you can have the uh, four USB ports here, then you have a LAN connector, you have the input output ports here, there are, you know, like 40 physical pins and uh, plenty of uh, GPIO pins. That includes all the peripherals like I2C, SPI, UART and all other things. Then it does have uh, the display connector, it has the two HDMI, then we have the camera connector, audio connector, then we have a type C USB to power up, it has the 1 GB of RAM and it has a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet, almost everything that any other computer has. So you can say it's just like a mini computer. Um, uh, as compared to the Arduino. Now the question is when you will consider using Arduino. I would say Arduino because it's a microcontroller power device. I would say 
Arduino suits very well when your prime objective is to control uh, devices like a relay, motor, switches, solenoid walls or actuators or something like that. Because uh, the good thing is Arduino consume less power. So if you just want to do a small task, okay, a controlling is your prime objective and focus, then the Arduino, which is powered by microcontroller, is your preferred choice. Wherein, when it com when it compares to Raspberry Pi, because Raspberry Pi has a CPU core, it has a more processing power. Uh, Raspberry Pi suits very well for the applications where your processing is the prime objective, something like a camera image processing, video processing, or you are building an IoT gateway where you want to process huge amount of data, send it to the cloud, or maybe artificial intelligence algorithm that you want to run. So it needs a more, um, you know, computing capabilities. Uh, so it does have one GB of RAM. When it comes to Arduino, it has only, I think, almost one or two kilobytes of RAM. But Raspberry Pi has one GB RAM, so it's too much in, uh, when you want to run some advanced algorithm or something. The processing is so high. That means Raspberry Pi suits very well for processing-centric applications, and Arduino suits very well for the controlling-centric applications. Now, when it comes to talking a very technical features about Raspberry Pi and Arduino, then because Raspberry Pi is having a CPU core which runs the operating system, Linux-like operating system, it consumes much more power. So if you power up on the batteries, standalone batteries, it will not last longer than few hours. When it compares to Arduino, because Arduino is a controller, so it runs, you know, several days and weeks and months, uh, depending on the applications, because it consumes less power, you can create handheld and the telemetry applications that runs on standalone batteries. For that kind of applications, Arduino suits very well. And for the power hungry applications, I think better to stay away with the Raspberry Pi because it has the operating system and it consumes more power. In conclusion, we can say in projects like mechatronics and robotics, Arduino will be the first choice, okay? Um, and in the applications where you are interfacing a camera or Internet of Things gateway or something like that, then the Raspberry Pi will be your preferred choice. Both Arduino and Raspberry Pi has their advantages and disadvantages. It very much depends on the project you're working on. So whatever you choose, you use either Arduino or Raspberry Pi in your project. It really depends what is your primary goal, what is your focus, either you're okay with connecting the dedicated power source like a DC adapter or the big power bank or you cannot afford that you want to run on a smaller batteries and a uh, um, resource tight uh, device is, is enough for you to drive your application simple application that's where the Arduino uh, is flourishes so it's really difficult to say which one is better so it's really it depends on the developer and individual choice that you make in your project depends on what your client want, what your project needs, all other things. If you want to become an expert programmer of Arduino and Raspberry Pi, find the link in the video description and explore our premium courses which will teach you how to build a real project using Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. Very, very professional courses, very high quality courses with the premium class of support. And I'm sure you will enjoy learning with binaryupdates.com. Please check the link in the video description. Thank you very much for watching this video lesson and we'll see us into the next lesson. Bye-bye for now.